Did you know that our modern light bulbs and the screens that we watch all day can have a negative impact on our health? I'm going to talk about five different aspects of blue light toxicity and why this is compromising our daily health. Things that you maybe never knew that they were correlated to that blue light. Okay, first on my list is it raises our blood sugar. So by being on our screens and having artificial lights on in our environment, in this study it was found in the Lancet that maintaining a dark environment, especially at nighttime may mitigate the risk of developing type 2 diabetes likely due to the disruptive effects of light at night on our circadian rhythm. So what does that mean? It means that if we have artificial lights on in our homes, in our offices at the wrong time of day, so typically after the sun has set, this will mess up our circadian rhythms and maybe even affecting our blood sugar levels. Okay, number two, another side effect of that blue light is weight gain. Yeah, you could be gaining weight and and yes, there is that correlation with increase in blood sugar, but also weight gain with that artificial light in your environment. Number three, leptin resistance is also related to having artificial lights on at the wrong time of day after the sun has set and of course too early in the morning before the sun has risen. Again, offsetting our proper circadian rhythms and affecting number four on my list is poor sleep. Now, of course, if we've got bright lights on before bed, when after the sun has set, this is gonna stimulate our eyes, our brain, telling our brain that it is daytime when the sun is up, when really, in fact, and our proper melatonin secretion can't happen unless our environment is more dark. It is the darkness hormone, that melatonin. So making sure that we're getting a good night's sleep has a lot to do with our overall health, and that blue light toxicity, especially being on screens before bed, is super compromising to your health. And number five is cancer. Now this is really scary. Now in this study it was found that artificial light at night, otherwise known as ALAN, is significantly correlated to all forms of cancer, as well as particularly lung, breast, colorectal, prostate cancers individually. And what the authors of the study said is that immediate measures should be taken to limit artificial light at night, especially in main cities around the world and also inside our homes. So it's something that we definitely, as much as we think that diet, exercise, not getting enough fresh air can be related to some of these serious diseases and cancer, we need to really pay attention to our light environment and really mimic what happens naturally in the day when the sun rises, lights are on, and when the sun sets, the lights go off. And of course, full spectrum light from the sun is very different in its wavelengths compared to all of the artificial lights that we're exposed to around and in our environments. Now, I want you to learn more about this. I do have a podcast, which is fantastic. So for more information on how blue light affects the body, please check out my podcast with Dr. Moore Eid. Are your lights making you fat? I'll see you there.